Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's up, wonderful people? Here we go, guys. It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. We are back here again with another amazing, stupendous, groundbreaking, earth-shattering, out-of-this-world toy review starring this guy right here. Look at him. Look at him. Now, guys, I got this uh, figure loose. I just want to thank all you guys for tuning in to watch this awesome Predator review, first and foremost. But uh, let's focus on this guy right here. Okay, so I got this guy loose. I bought him for a really, really good price, a really cheap price. You know, um, I think I got him for like around 20 which is kind of hard to do for a Predator figure, especially for a, a Wasp Predator. Now, this guy is open. He's been opened. Um, one thing that he's missing, guys, is you look, flip over on the back. Uh, this is the lineup in which he's from. I want to get this freaking Predator right here, man. This guy looks awesome and he's a member of the big reds clan the wasp predator is a ruthless hunter whose flesh tones and skin patterns resemble those of a flying insect he has even customized his his bio to match armed with wrist blades and his unique spear staff the wasp routinely decapitates his victims and mounts their severed heads atop his spear when not hunting with Big Red, the Wasp takes flight in his customized blade fighter vehicle. His sole purpose is to hunt and exterminate every xenomorph he finds. Now, he did uh, he does come with this right here, his spear and the alien head, which I do not have, guys. I'm so disappointed in that, guys, because I wish I would have had... I wish I knew he would have came with this. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have bought this Wasp Predator. But then again, maybe I would have. I don't know. I got him for such a good deal. Maybe that's why I got him for a good deal is because uh, he didn't come with the spear and the head of the alien, which kind of sucks. So, like I said, he's already pre-opened. He doesn't come with any... Uh, accessories but one thing we're going to do uh, being that he's in Big Red's clan uh, if you guys don't know who Big Red is this Big Red Predator we'll do a little comparison of Big Red Predator and also we're going to do a little bit of comparison of the Golden Angel Predator which he kind of resembles um, simply because he has kind of like a gold uh, a yellow vibe both of them are yellow I'll just bring them in and show you guys so here's the Golden angel predator next to the wasp predator and they're very very much alike very similar uh skin patterns he's a little a little bit more yellowish uh or excuse me a little bit more greenish where the wasp is a little bit more yellow and blackish very very similar and uh i do believe i tried uh, taking this guy's head off let me move this out the way Oh, jeez. And, uh, because this guy right here, this uh, golden uh, angel predator, came with these two uh, head sculpts, where I, which I think are really, really awesome. I do like him in this gold mask a little bit better. And here's this mask of uh, the golden angel predator. And I believe I tried to remove his head. And I don't think this ball joint fits onto his head. I think the ball, the peg is a little bit too big for this wasp predator, but that mask doesn't look good on him. And the skin tone for this guy looks to be accurate, but once again, see, the peg doesn't really fit into the hole of this predator, so therefore you can't peg this predator in there his head into there which kind of sucks man because i really wanted an unmasked version but i do like this uh head sculpt so one thing i might do is let's see if this fits onto this one which it should and yeah it does it does sit on there uh not too well though 
it just kind of sits on there and I don't know if I like that here is the unmasked version and I don't like I don't really care too much for the unmasked version on this, on this golden angel predator guys I mean he looks nice let me see let me put his head on there man that is tight man I might have to warm it up Actually, let me put that off. Let me try to measure. The pegs look like they're the same size, but the pe this peg looks a little bit bigger. Let me put this head sculpt on here. Ugh. Yeah, so here's the Golden Angel Predator, which he looks really, really awesome. I mean, he looks good uh, with the mask and without the mask. And one thing... You know, it's too bad I don't have two of these. That's one of the main reasons why I bought this guy right here. But, like I said, the head uh, doesn't fit onto the ball joint. So I can't really get this on here. Or maybe... No, wait. Mistaken. Yeah, I can get it on there. Yeah, it does go on there. You just have to use a little force for this uh, Predator. Okay, so if I can get that on there. <laughs> I'm kind of curious if I can get this head sculpt on here. Let's see. Okay, let's try to force this one on here. Maybe it just needs a little force. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, that can actually work because the black and the yellow and the green actually go very well with this Predator. And one thing that sucks is you won't be able to use this mask. Which kind of blows. <laughs> right? So, let's put this mask on him for now. And yeah, and it doesn't stay on there that well. So, let's plug this head sculpt back into the Wasp Predator. Okay, so here's the Wasp Predator, guys, and I don't know if he's missing his cannon. Um, in the picture, it says it doesn't, it, 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 he doesn't have a cannon, but of course he has the pegs there. Um, and also it looks like he's missing a wire, too, right there on his chest. Okay, and his legs are a little loose, which kind of sucks. So, but overall, he's a nicely, nicely detailed Predator figure. So, I'll give you guys a close-up. Nicely detailed, nicely detailed. There's the back of the Predator. Here's, he's got the double-jointed knees. Very, he's very double-jointed. Look at that, man. Flying through the air. And I like the blue touches right here on the belt as well. And I do have uh, other uh, Predator accessories I can probably give to him. There's his signature blades right there that extend outwards in and out. Overall, a very, very nicely detailed Wasp Predator. And then let's put, I want to put this head sculpt. I think I'm going to use this head sculpt because for this Golden Age Old Predator. Ugh. Ugh, because I really like this head sculpt. And this is the only predator, predator that I know of, guys, that actually has the piercing right here on his lip. <laughs> so I think, I, I think I'm going to use this. Uh, head sculpt for this predator even though I do like the gold mask I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this gold mask and I do like this one right here this mask as well but it doesn't go with his wardrobe with the golden angel uh, predator so I might have to find another predator to put this mask on and to have that matching skin tone too which is gonna be a pain in the butt to try to find 
But yeah, this is how they measure up. Very, very similar predators. So one thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this mask on and I'm going to leave this mask off. And yeah, so this is how they measure up, guys. Let me break out my tape measure. I'm going to measure this guy and then I'm going to do some more comparisons. So this wasp predator stands about 8 inches, which is common. Uh, very common for him. And, uh, yeah, that's one thing. See, if I can find another mask where... I actually do like this mask. So, this wouldn't look really bright on him if I did try to put it on him. Yeah, because there's no copper, really copper coloring going on with this guy. The gold wouldn't really look right on him. Here's the uh, face uh, head sculpt from uh, Future Predator, and but the color just doesn't match up with this uh, Wasp Predator. Okay, guys, let's do some Predator comparisons. Okay, guys, so here is the Wasp Predator standing next to his buddy over here. This is Big Red Predator, very samurai-esque predator. One of my favorite predators in my collection. And uh, you can see that they have like a very, very similar vibe going on, right? <laughs> so you can tell that, yeah, they're part of the same clan. And uh, yeah, so this is how they measure up. Love, I love, love this red predator, man. He just, he stands out. Move my camera back a little bit. He really, really stands out, guys. And uh, yeah, standing, I'm gonna, this is where I'm going to put, I'm going to put, when I put him on display, I'm going to put the wasp predator next to big red right here but this is how they measure up and they look very very awesome together and if you guys didn't see a review of big red he was like one of my first reviews i ever did so check that out if you want to see a review of that and just for the hell of it guys i figure i'd bring out another figure that i just recently reviewed somebody who uh garners the color yellow we got Scorpion right here, McFarlane Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, and you have the big, uh, big, you have the uh, Wasp Predator right here, and yeah, they measure up nicely, man. Right here, who wins, Scorpion or the Wasp? <laughs> Scorpion or the Wasp? Who who would actually win those, a Scorpion or the Wasp? I guess it kind of depends on what kind of Wasp it is, right? If you go if you're going up against a Scorpion. So, actually, I think there's videos of that on YouTube where you can watch a scorpion battle a wasp. But, yeah, this is how they measure up right here, and they measure up, actually, kind of nicely. Okay, so we have Marvel Legends Wolverine right here, guys. So, I figure I'd bring out Wolverine because he is also rocking the yellow. Who says manly men can't wear yellow? <laughs> right? So, here's Wolverine versus the wasp. Look how freaking big. <laughs> Look how big the Predator is compared to uh, Wolverine. I think that's the right size comparison because Wolverine is a small, stocky guy. And Predator is pretty freaking huge. So, yeah, I think I think they would measure up nicely. Maybe Wolverine should be a little bit taller. But, I mean, Wolverine is a small guy. So, a Wolverine versus a Wasp, I think, well... I don't know. What do you guys think? I think a Wolverine, a Wolverine would win. But then again, who would win in this battle right here? Wolverine versus Wasp Predator. Who do you guys got? Wolverine or Wasp Predator? <laughs> Get off me, bitch. Okay, guys. Let's do a rating of this Wasp Predator. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10 with 10 being the highest, you know, I, I wish... I wish I had that alien head with the spear on it. I think I would give this guy a better rating. And being that his hips are a little loose too, it kind of sucks. But I like the overall detail of this wasp predator. I do think this golden angel predator is a little bit better, man. I think he's a little bit more detailed. I understand this is an old, a little bit of an older predator. And this guy right here is more of a newer Predator, but overall, it's the same body, same sculpt, everything. Um, but I do think if he was complete, if he did have the tube right here on the chest, 
And also, I do think if he had that spear with the alien's head, I do believe I would rate him higher. I, I would probably give him an 8 if he was complete, but I think I'm going to give this wasp predator a 7. Um, like I said, if he was complete, an 8. Um, <coughs> bless myself. Uh, but I think I'm going to give this guy a 7. I think he's really, really awesome. I do, like I said, I do like this Golden Angel Predator a little bit better, probably because he's newer, and he, done, and he does come with, the newer Predators do come with different head sculpts, and this came with different head sculpts too, and he actually does come with a blade too, if you guys want to see that review of the Golden Angel Predator, check it out. But I do like this overall look better. I like the green and the yellow better than I do the yellow and black. Even though he is a really nice figure, don't sleep on him. I definitely do think he's pretty, pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, this is where I'm going to pose him. I'm going to pose him next to this guy. And also, uh, Big Red right here. I think they go very, very, very well. And I think he'll go very, very nicely in my Predator collection. Okay, guys, there you guys have it. There was my little review of... NECA Wasp Predator. Let me know your feelings on this Wasp Predator. Do you own them? Do you own either of these Predators right here? Or if you want to chime in with Scorpion and Wolverine, it's up to you guys. Um, okay, so we'll leave it at that. If you like this little review, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you want to receive more cool, epic reviews like this. And we'll leave it at that. I just want to thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next review. Bye.